Andy Hillier and today I'm going to teach you how to play 90210 by Black Bear acoustic version. Um, this request just came in literally today, uh, so I've just done a video on it. Uh, nice song, sounds great, it's quite fun to play. We need to put a capo on the third fret. It's uh, pretty easy because it's just uh, open chords with the capo on the third fret. So let's get down to it. I'm going to teach you how to play the chords first and then I'll, I'll teach you the, the sort of the pickiny type. Thing. Right, so the first thing, capo, third fret, and we need a C chord. So there's only two parts to the song, you've got a verse and you've got a chorus. So the verse part, to start with, uh, C chord, first finger B1, second finger on D2, and third finger on A3. So that's a C chord. The next chord is an E chord, which is just your first finger on G1, second finger on A2, and third finger on D2. So that's an E major chord. The fourth chord, we're just going to move that all down one string and it creates A minor, which is your first finger B1, second finger on D2, and third finger on G2. And the fourth chord is a G chord, which is your third finger E3, second finger on E3 nearest to your face, and your first finger on A2. So let's play that. Each one lasts for four beats. One, two, three, four. C, two, three, E. Two, three, A minor. Two, three, G. Two, three, four. So let's put the picking in with the chords. So we're going to start with the C chord, but in the first verse, what it's going to do is going to move the third finger up one string. So your fingers on. E3 and you play that note and then you play the, like the bottom four strings or three strings a little down up so just go down up so you go this and then move that third finger down to A3 and play that A3 and then down up on the rest of the chord so you get this okay so it just does that twice hopefully that's making sense and then on an E chord you play the E string then the bottom four strings down up and then play the A string, and then go down up. And you do that twice, so it goes. So, so far we've got this. With A minor, you play the A string and then the D string. And then on the G chord, you play the E string, a string, E string, and then you could do a little, a little hammer on going A to A2. So go. So the whole thing goes, or the whole of the first line. So it only does this in the first verse, uh, this C chord anyway. Uh, in all the other verses, just play this A string and then the D string. So it will go in the second verse, it will be. Rather than starting on the note G, well, it's not the note G because it's got a cap on, but the E3. Okay, so let's play it the, as in the first verse. One, two, three. Uh. Okay, on to the chorus of the song. It's going to start with A minor. And then it's going to go to a G slash B, which is your little finger on E3, third finger on B3, and first finger on A2. And then it's go, going to go to a C chord. Uh, and then it does a little run into this F. So it's going to play D, D2, and then play an F chord, which you can... Probably the easiest way of doing it is just putting your first finger across E and B. If you struggle to do that, you can just put it on the B string, that's fine. And then second finger on G2 and third finger A3. So that's F. So it doesn't matter if you're holding down the E string or not. Ideally, yes, but it doesn't matter if you're getting that sound on the E string. And then the last chord we need is an E7, which is an E chord without the third finger on. So you're just left with your first finger on G1 and second finger on A2. So that's E7, okay? And you do the similar kind of picking thing. So a little down.
down, down, up, playing the root note and then playing the chord. So let's try that, the chorus. One, two, three, and. <laughs> And that's the song. So you've got the verse part, which is. And the chorus. And that's it. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this little song. If you have, if you could subscribe to the channel and like my this video. Uh, thanks for the request, whoever put the request in one of my other videos. Uh, if you've got any requests, put it in the comment section and I'll try and get round to it. Thanks for watching this. I've been Andy Hillier and I'll see you next time.